Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be going over some of the operating systems code that I had to write for an operating systems course in college. Um, the class basically went over a lot about the kernels with different OS's as well as about um, child processes and forks and basically what a process does from creation until when it's killed. Um, the class was very good overall. Unfortunately the homeworks were less than useful Needless to say, they're still on my GitHub, so I'm going to just go over them briefly with you. We'll go ahead and start with the first homework. Um, we'll go over an example of fork, basically what it, a process is doing. And we'll have two different child processes fork off, and then one of them will finish. We'll just go ahead and see that working over here. We've got a fork example. You can go ahead and see that we have before the fork and then we have two different childs 1709 and 1710 and then we that's those two respective childs and 1709 finishes and it's just very simple stuff you can look through the code on github not much comments but it's not very useful anyways and then there's a homework where we basically had to write a c program to act as a command prompt and we can type in different commands like quit or run a specific command, run something in the background and then kill a specific process based off its PID. And so let's go ahead and show a little version of that running. Here's the code here, just taking in simple commands whether it's run, background, murder, quit, stuff like that. So here we are in here, we can go and try one of the examples. You can see that's the command that we're going to be running as a child process. We can run quit and it will exit out of it. Very simple stuff. And now we're going to be going over the second program. Alright, so now the second homework was supposed to be a little bit about semaphores and locks. Basically what we're supposed to be doing is creating a methane molecule which has CH4, one carbon and four hydrogen atoms. We have a couple different classes created. Um, this is coded in Java. And basically we have our chemical bonding creator, our hydrogen atom generator, and our carbon atom generator. Pretty self-explanatory. Hydrogen atom generator just generates hydrogen atoms. Um, carbon atom generator generates carbon atoms. And the chemical bonding creator actually bonds those carbon and hydrogen atoms when they're available to a new molecule. So basically we have hydrogen lists and carbon atom lists and we're going through and making sure that we have enough of each size of the atom to successfully create one. If we don't, then we wait until they are created. And each atom has a specific count and the atom generator has a specific count too. That's basically, basically it. You can go through the code a little bit on GitHub. Um, once again, I don't think this, this course's homeworks was that interesting or um, helpful in understanding what the processes were for semaphores and locks, but it was fun to make nonetheless. So you can kind of see it running here as a Java application. So we create a couple hydrogen atoms we have a carbon atom, we're waiting for the fourth one, and now one is created. Now we're waiting on some more. Second carbon atom, fifth, sixth, seventh, and now we have eighth, and so we've made a second one. I'll go ahead and stop it there, and let's go through the output a little bit. So we have three hydrogen atoms, one carbon atom, so we're waiting on the fourth hydrogen atom before we can do anything. One is created, and then we have enough atoms to create a methane molecule. We've got four and one before the process, 
zero methane molecules made, then we successfully create one, our stock goes to zero on the atoms, and we have one molecule. So then we get our second carbon atom, and we get four more hydrogen. Once again, we make them, and then here you see the second is made. All right, so now let's go real quick to the other part of it. Just going over the extra credit portion of the second homework. This is basically the same thing, but instead of doing carbon and hydrogen atoms, you can make it just generic. So we say how many atoms for the first do we need? We'll do one. How many atoms for the second one? We'll do two. And then after that, just generally creates molecules based off of those numbers needed. And we can go ahead and stop it and just look at it. You can see that we need, we've got one of the first atom, and now we've got two of the second atom, so we can go ahead and make our first molecule. And we've got two of the first atom and three and four of the second atom, so we can make a second molecule. See so down here, the second molecule is created. And that's basically it.